Well, so far we've heard about one baby that was born, a baby called John, uh, who grew up to be known as John the Baptist. And then we heard about Mary's baby, Jesus, not born yet. Uh, well, today let's learn about what Christmas is all about, the birth of that baby, Jesus. In the part of the world where Mary and Joseph lived, the Romans were in charge. The Roman Emperor was called Caesar Augustus. Caesar Augustus commanded that all the people in the empire be counted. In order to count everyone, people were asked to return to the places their families came from. And so Mary and Joseph had to return to where Joseph's family came from, the little town of Bethlehem. And so Mary packed up all her things for another journey. A Bethlehem was the town where Israel's first great king had been born, King David. I remember Joseph could trace his family tree all the way back to King David, even though Joseph himself wasn't rich or a king. The point is, a king had been born in Bethlehem before, and now another was about to be born. Remember, Mary had already been told by the angel Gabriel that her baby would be special. He would be the Son of God. And now we can't understand God. There is only one God. He is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. He is not three gods, but the Son of God is God. Jesus was God. The angel Gabriel had told Mary. Uh, Joseph also knew. Uh, he'd been visited by an angel in a dream. Both Mary and Joseph had accepted and believed the message of the angel. And so, Mary and Joseph made their way to Bethlehem. A Caesar had ordered for the people to be counted. Uh, they had to go. Uh, but it must have been a hard journey for Mary because she was expecting a baby. Uh, as she went along, she must have been looking forward to a rest. And maybe she was dreaming of a nice soft bed. But when they arrived, Bethlehem was very busy. Lots of people had turned up there for the big count and there was no room for them to stay at the inn. Imagine how they must have felt. I wonder what they were thinking. Mary's baby was a king. Mary's baby was God himself. But no one had rolled out the red carpet. Just the opposite. There was nowhere for them to stay. Uh, they knew that Jesus was special, uh, but no one around them had any idea that Mary was about to give birth to the Son of God. Jesus, who had come from heaven, where he was worshipped as Lord, was now being ignored. But he was still king. And so Jesus, the Son of God, the King of Kings, was laid in a manger, in a bed of hay, because there was no room for them in the inn. Even though Jesus did not have a comfortable cot, he did have loving parents in Mary and Joseph who took care of him. But Jesus was no ordinary baby. He was everything that's true about babies and little children. He really was human, exactly like you and me. He was born and he grew up. He cried and slept and ate. But he, unlike you and me, was also God. And so, why did Jesus come from heaven to earth? He came to live and die for us. Remember, John, uh, John the Baptist, he taught people about sin, the wrong things we do. He told people to turn away from the wrong things that they do. We've seen Jesus came to be a saviour, to save people from their sin, to throw our sins far away. How did Jesus make that possible? He made that possible by dying. Have a look at this. And uh, imagine this is, is my life, my sin. Uh, there's an old hymn that says, my sin had left a crimson stain. I need somebody to rescue me. I need the light of the world, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus came into this world, a world 
that was full of sin. And when he went to the cross, this is what he did for all of his people. Watch carefully. Can you see that? All of the wrong that we've done. Uh, the Lord Jesus Christ takes it. He sucks it up and he took the, the punishment for the sin that we deserve. Jesus died on a cross so that our sin might be forgiven. Now, he is God's good gift to the world. I hope you have a lovely Christmas and I hope you get some nice presents. But remember this Christmas the greatest gift of all, the gift of the very first Christmas, the gift of God's Son who came to die for our sins.